I'm Ram Kawarabayashi, and this is my channel. Cha -cha. Hey, what is up everyone? How are you guys doing? So, on today's video, and I'm going to the Olympic Museum in Japan. So, yeah, what are we going to do here? Well, let's explore this place. I'm uh, really excited. Ko. So, tra 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 tra. Tra na. Hayden Francisco Diaz is a Filipino weightlifter and airwoman, the first Filipino to ever win an Olympic gold medal for the Philippines. She is also an Olympic weightlifting record holder by winning the women's 55kg category for weightlifting at the 2020 Summer Olympics. Upon arrival, visitors can make their way inside to the welcome area, where a large screen shows exciting moments from past Olympic Games. Dynamic footage of legendary champions in actions is certain to get visitors pumped for the immersive and engaging exhibits that awaits. So ayun, ito na naman pagpasok. Eh, makikita nyo na parang yung mga picture nung nagkaroon ng gold Olympic medals and yung dami nila. Ah, uh, di ba? And alam nyo, napansin ko, itong building na to sobrang laki. Hindi ko sure kung buong uh, building ba eh, museum or parang uh, yung ibang floors lang. So yeah, yun ang manalaman natin. <laughs> tara, tara. Since opening in September 2019, the Japan Olympic Museum in Tokyo has put people at the center of the Japanese Olympic movement through its immersive multimedia exhibits that invites people to catch the Olympic spirit and to know, feel, learn, try, and think like a champion. Unlike most history lessons, this one is interactive. Visitors can use simulators to compare their physical abilities with those of Olympians. They can use interactive screens to experience shooting, ski jumping, and figure skating. The exhibit captures the spectacle of the opening ceremony and the community atmosphere of the Olympic Village. While shedding light on the people who labor behind the scenes to make a Games a reality, it also provides invaluable insights from Olympic athletes about the challenges of Olympic training and competition. Visitors also can gain a deep appreciation for the Paralympic Games and the diverse group of extraordinary athletes who participate in them. Hi guys, ayun. Ina-explore pa rin namin itong Olympic Museum. Uh, alam mo, sobrang nagugulat ako. And literally, kiniklik talaga ako kasi, di pa nga, uh, as we all know, yung Olympics, eh, nagsimula siya sa Greek. Or sa mga, sa, sa Greece. So, ibig sabihin, parang ano, parang, siyempre, di ba, ikasang sa mga, ng mga Greek mythology or mga anything to do with Greek. So, yeah, ayun. Ikaw, ano mo nasabi mo? Wala, ano, parang makalalaman mo tayo history from here. Tapos, meron doon yung Ano pa yung to doon kung saan ang galing yung ano? Okay. Kaya makikita mo dito, from NT Empress, papakita nga yung mm. saan siya nag-start, ano yung mga um, uh, sports natin. Oo, oh, tama. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so napaka-educational din niya na. Mm. Mm. And yes guys, 500 lang yung entrance niya for adults and 400 para sa mga junior. So, yeah, kayang-kaya talaga yung price. And yun nga lang, medyo kailangan nating sadya into dahil um, hindi siya parang nasa main area ng Tokyo, tama? Mm. So, ayun lang guys. Punta kayo dito, dali.
The exhibit also shows how Japan hosted the Olympic Games for the first time in 1964 in Tokyo, followed by the Olympic Winter Games in Sapporo in 1972, and the Olympic Winter Games in Nagano in 1998. Promotional posters and tickets for those events are on display along with those of the Olympic Games Tokyo 1940 that were cancelled due to the outbreak of World War II. Ito guys, kung sports buff ka talaga, sobrang matutuwa ka dito. Kasi parang yung history, uh, yung anything that you have to know dito sa Olympics. Visitors will also learn about how Japan first participated in the Olympic Games in 1912, won its first medal in 1920, and its first gold medal in 1928. Overall, the Japanese delegation has won 439 medals at the Olympic Games and 58 medals at the Olympic Winter Games. It should come as no surprise that Japan has won more gold medals in judo and indigenous modern martial arts than any other country. Visitors can also check out the Olympic values inscribed on a bench, a record of Japan's first Olympic gold medal inscribed on a footpath, the Olympic motto inscribed on steps, and a location of years of past Olympic games inscribed in a footpath as well. So that's it for our video today guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified for my newly upload videos. And don't forget to check out my other social media accounts listed up below for more awesome updates. So once again, my name is Ramko Arabayashi, signing off. I'll see you soon guys. Bye! I'm Ramko Arabayashi and this is my channel. channel.